Hey, what's up, guys? This is Woody Geek. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Sonic Heroes Team Dark Story. I shall find the answer to who I really am. So here we are in Frog Forest, which is a forest inhabited by, you guessed it, turtles. I mean, frogs. Yeah, this is a forest level and is probably one of my favorite Sonic Heroes stages, personally. I don't know why I like it so much, but it's just up there in my favorites. I don't know why. Um, anyway, the main gimmick of this stage are those frogs. If they see you, they'll call down a rainstorm. The rainstorm will cause plants to grow, including these vines that we can grind on, some bouncy platforms that are required to help us pass the level, and... A couple other things. The first instance of growing bouncy things, aside from Rouge's chest, is uh, coming over here, distracting this frog, going back to the center, and now this mushroom has grown so we can jump on it. So there are a lot of uh, rain and plant puzzles of this level in this level. So uh, if you don't know your science very well, you, this is a good time to learn. Uh, the boss stage of Frog Forest is our next rival battle, which is going to be against Team Sonic if you're playing as Team Dark. If you're playing as Team Rose or Team Chaotix, it's going to be those two teams. And if you're playing as Team Sonic, obviously, Team Dark is going to be your rival team. Uh, before I do anything more, I want to take care of that turtle. There we go. Okay. In the other mission, or in the other team's levels. I believe Team Sonic has n almost... Okay. Team Sonic, compared to Team Dark, has very few differences between the levels. And Team Chaotix is about... I think the first mission is to not get detected by any frogs, and the second mission is to find Ten Chow. And that's what leads... Um, leads them to fight with Team Rose, because Team Rose has cheese, and Cream and Cheese are on an adventure to try and find Chocola Chow, which is in canon of this game for Cheese's younger brother, or twin brother, rather. Twin sibling. So for whatever reason, they're going on an adventure to fight uh, Dr. Eggman and find out who took Chocola Chow bigs on the adventure for Froggy, which I think there are a few references to Froggy in this uh, stage for Team Rose. Not sure on that. But yeah. I think there was a little extra thing behind us right there. If I wanted to get it, I would have, but I didn't, so therefore. Here's one of the... F here's a flower that we can uh, hit with our tornado. And if we jump down here and if we land this right, we can get a couple one-ups on this vine. Normally, if you stayed on the flower, you would have hovered around the stage, and you would have uh, got a few reward balloons. But, uh, I didn't, so therefore... Yeah, there are a few extra goodies on these vines, if you choose to stop and get them. So, more incentive to break the status quo, I guess. No, that's not the right word. Get over here. There we go. And you. Okay. For this frog, you're actually going to have to get in the capsule with him. And there you go. Now he's going to make these huge vines grow. Wait for a minute. There you go. You can homing attack this uh, berry if you want to use a speed character. Or if you want to have an easier time, just use the flight character. And there we go. That was pretty easy. Eh. Okay, there's a shortcut right here, actually, if you grind up. No, never mind. I was thinking there was a shortcut if you just ground, uh, grind it up there, but I guess not. Silly me. Okay, let me take that. Now, this one you don't really want to jump off of, because if you do, you die. But you can just collect the reward balloons, as you will. To control the flower, you just got to move up and down on the analog stick, and you'll just move up and down slightly. It's not important in this stage, but for the final stage, you're going to need to 
react in time to those things. Now these swinging vines, you have to press you have to press the jump button at the apex of your jump. By the way, that was a cool homing attack right there. Um, and you will fly off the the vine. If you don't time it correctly, you'll fall short, and you're gonna need to know that for an upcoming part. I don't think in this particular act. I think it's in the next act. But, um, yeah. Make sure you know that. Here's some vines right here. Okay, there's a ring box on Omegas. And a, uh, and an invincibility. Oh, great. Omega went ahead. Thanks, Omega. Get back here. Okay. There's some enemies here. I don't, I don't think we have to take them out, but might as well. Jump up here. You don't say. Just team blast them so we don't have to deal with them. Hey, Froggy. Okay, now we gotta grind on this constantly growing vine. In Frog Forest, I believe the best way to get around on these vines is to constantly tap B. But for the last level is where we're going to need to hold B in order to go faster on rails. Yes, spoiler alert, final stage has rails. Who cares? But that was uh, Frog Forest Act 1. Moving on to Act 2. Don't remember the name of it. What do we got? Hurry up. Hurry up. We get it. I got an emblem. We get it. Saving the game. We get it. Come on. Lost Jungle. I had, I had a feeling it had to do with Jungle, but, uh, yeah. Stage 10. Act 2. Go. It's a swamp, so be careful. Okay, take 4. I'm... I really have no excuses. I took... I cut out a few... Th or... I did some redos of this level because I didn't like how I was talking in them. Not that I was saying anything bad. I just didn't feel like my points were getting across. And the last time, I died right before a checkpoint. So, don't want to show all that. But anyway, Lost Jungle is... Okay. For some re some weird reason, there we go. Lost Jungle is not one of my favorite levels in this game. Frog Forest is. Lost Jungle isn't. I don't know why that is. But uh, two of the new mechanics in this level are those uh, big bad necks we were fighting and uh, that black frog. The black frog, unlike the green frog, destroys plants when it rain when it causes rain to fall. Um, and the big guys, when we come across them again, I'll try to explain what they do a bit more. But. The best strategy to take out the big guys, I've already done it twice, is to start off with Rouge, use a thunder, uh, a thunder shoot on them, and then attack them with Omega like crazy. Shadow does almost nothing to them, so don't bother with trying to attack them with, with Shadow. Even level 3 Shadow won't do a thing. The alloy that they're made out of is the same as most of those flying badniks who are like iron plated so shadow can't do any damage to them but he can homing attack them if he so pleases to gain a little extra height unfortunately that mechanic is not used at all for the big guys there are also these new enemies with spikes protruding out of them if you try homing attacking them you will home in on them but you'll get hit normally a homing attack would just uh yeah normally you'd be able to destroy them but the uh, that was a weird camera angle. We'll get a little more into those camera angles with that specific, uh, with those vines in a bit. But right now, what was I talking about? Man, I am out of it right now. Anyway, if you get that frog's attention, he will grow that vine for you for, as a little shortcut. If you distract that black frog, he will cause these fruits to come down thus triggering that uh, voice clip that you just heard from Omega. However, I bypassed both frogs, so there was no point in Omega saying that at all. 
If you attract this black frog, he'll drop fruit down on your on the uh, bad necks. This one didn't work, but that one did. And there's this guy, who you'll have to take down with Thunder Shoot before trying to attack with Omega. And there we go. Kind of wanted to get Omega leveled up before Shadow. I don't know why. Okay, there. Then there are two guys right here. Don't bother with them. Just team blast them. And there you go. Okay, this part coming up. Earlier I uh, took my time on it. Not sure how I'm going to do on this take. Don't rush ahead right here because there is a pit. Just going to have to attack those guys. If you attract this frog, he'll grow some vines for you. And if you wait long enough... These platforms grow out if you use your flight character, or Rouge rather, because I think this is only for Team Dark. You can come up here, and if you fly up here, there's a ring path for Shadow to light dash across. There's a bonus key and a one-up on a rail. This also lets you bypass a few enemies, so there you go. One of the times I actually died was right there. Uh, I tried homing attacking the flower to let it, you know, fly up, but... It didn't work. For whatever reason, um, I, I'm so distracted right now. For whatever reason, it didn't work. Don't know why. Oh yeah, I flew off. Uh, I flew off the the, uh, the platform instead of you know homing attacking the, the flower. Right, these guys. A bit more into the strategy. Shoot a thunder shoot at him. Attack like crazy with Omega, and there you go. That's the easiest way to take care of him. There's a power platform here where if you tackle it. Okay, that black frog is going to hinder your progress, so come over here. Can't bypass that wall for whatever reason. Attract this frog's attention. Or get that frog's attention, rather. And then come up here so it's grown again. And now you can fly up there, if Rouge would be so kind, and not, you know, die. I had to land there, because my uh, flight gauge... Ha what happened there? My flight gauge was uh, petering out, and it would have uh, dropped me in the death water had I gone on. Okay, this part... Bit tricky. Okay, frog here. Uh, constantly growing vines, so just keep accelerating. Now, this part, I remember taking me a while to accomplish. There's a one-up on this vine had you chosen to keep going. But, or not keep going, if you chose to get off early, you would have, um... You would have been able to get a one-up. Right here. Oh, crap. Oh, crap! Okay, this part. Okay, sorry for staying silent that entire time. I did not want to talk during that because I felt like I would have lost my focus. That part is very tough to pay attention to and get through alive. So yeah, that's why there was no commentary from me right there. But with that said and done, we A-ranked, lost jungle, and now it's time for the boss battle. Which is going to be, as I said before, Team Sonic. So, you know, after this emblem and save screen, we're going to meet up with Team Sonic. Look, it's that hedgehog. Wonder what the big rush is all about. Bet you those guys will end up getting in my way and making trouble. Hey, isn't that... Sonic! Huh. Talk about being stubborn and full of surprises. Long time no see, boys. Too bad you had to come all this way for nothing. We'll take it from here. What'd you say? Sensors locked on Eggman. Non-compliant intruders will be destroyed. Hmm. Didn't you know? We have a date with Eggman, too. Is that so? Well, then, it'll be a date to die for. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> Not the best way to greet those you haven't seen in a while. Okay, now, I think 
I learned a bit about these team battles since last time. Uh, I learned that uh, some team combinations are better suited against another team combination than others. For example, uh, the flight character excels against power characters, and power characters are good against speed characters, and speed characters are good against flight characters. However, I just randomly shot at them with level 1 Rouge and knocked them all off the stage, so I don't know what to say about that. Unfortunately, it wasn't that it wasn't quick enough. So, uh, <laughs> next time I'm going to try and finish my thought about the team, uh, the rival fights. Hopefully, if I choose to remember them. And next time we'll going we'll be we'll be going to Hang Castle, which is the next level. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this episode. This is What a Geek, and I'll see you guys later.